Cinema du Luc was an 80s French film movement headed by three directors, Jean-Jacques Benny, Luc Besson, and Leo Sarrac. This movement was first observed and discussed by Raphael Besson in La Revue du Cinéma and is often described as glossy, where style takes the place of substance with consistent attributes such as high production value cinematography, well-polished scores, and characters who are meant to represent the marginalized youth of France. Many of the films associated with this movement focus on love affairs, youth giving more value to friends rather than family, and a rebellion against the establishment, much of which are mirrored in American coming-of-age cinema. Many of the films are associated with the movement, however, most consider Jean-Jacques Benice's Diva, Luc Besson's Subway, and Leo Sorax's Boy Meets Girl and Les Amants du Point Neuf to be cornerstones of the era. What follows is the trailer for Benice's Diva. Laoli, acte 1. Cynthia Hawkins, comment tu l'as eu Elle n'a jamais fait un seul enregistrement. C'est la chaîne qui te gêne. Politics played a large influence on the conception of the era. During the 80s, France had the first left-wing government in 23 years, which was headed by President François Mitterrand, where four communist leaders joined the cabinet and the parliament was controlled by a socialist majority. So began over a decade of social and political reform, the kind that causes large shifts in the way art is created and interpreted throughout a country. The era quickly faded out of existence as the second term of the president came to an end and the front rudder directors all took alternate paths. Beni shifted his genre to documentaries, Carax became irrelevant in the French film world, and Besson moved to Hollywood where he would go on to direct blockbusters such as Taken, Lucy, and most recently Valerian, The City of a Thousand Planets. <laughs> 